Hey everyone, so today we're going to be going over some more word problems using your limited ingredient formula. So your formula is, you get your received RCVD or your used or your issued and you divide all this by your AFRS, what your recipe calls for. So again, don't forget the main word you want to look out for when it comes to these word problems is how much you actually used. So we're going to be doing number seven and eight. So number seven, it says the 1090 calls for 261 portions of pork loin. You order 72 pounds of pork loin. The recipe calls for 22 pounds of pork loin per 100 portions. You were issued 86 pounds of pork loin and returned 12 pounds of pork loin. What are your new portions to prepare? So again, you gotta make sure you fully read these, all of these word problems before you start anything. So the first thing you wanna find is this top one. So how much did you actually use? So it says you were issued 86 pounds of pork loin and you returned 12. But how much did you actually use? So 86 minus 12 equals 74. So you actually used 74 pounds. Now we have to divide that by your AFRS, what your recipe call costs for. So again, it says your 1090 calls for 261 portions of pork loin. So you have to ignore that number. You ordered 72 pounds of pork loin and the recipe the recipe calls for 22 pounds of pork loin per 100 portions. So this is the number that you need, the 22 pounds. So you put it over, I mean under the 74, and you just divide these together. So 74 divided by 22 equals 0.3, 3.36. So again, we're always going to round to the hundredths place. So it's these two numbers after your decimal. So again, if the third number is five or above, we round up. If it's four or below, we just leave it like that. So again, it's under four, so we leave it like that. So it ends up being 3.36. So this is ends up being your working factor, but that's not what it's asking for. Is asking what are your new portions to prepare so all you got to do with this is just multiply your working factor by 100 and you could either do it in your calculator or in your head whichever works best for you so this ends up being 336 portions so with the 74 pounds that you use you can make 336 portions of the pork loin So erases, moving on to number eight. So number eight, it says rice pilaf calls for six pounds of rice per 100 portions. You're told to make 165 portions of rice pilaf. You ordered 10 pounds of rice, but you used eight pounds of rice what is your working factor so this one's a little bit more simple it doesn't have a, uh, any numbers to throw you off so how much did you actually use here it says you ordered 10 pounds of rice but you only used eight pounds so that would be your top number eight over what your recipe calls for your afrs so it says Rice pilaf calls for six pounds of rice per 100 portions. So you put the six at the bottom and then you just divide these two numbers together. So you got eight divided by six, which equals 1.33333. So we always have to round up to the hundredths place, which is the two numbers after the decimal. And this third number, if it's five or above, you have to round up. If it's four below, you leave it like that. So in this case, of course, we're just gonna leave it like that. So we just end up getting 
three as your working factor. So this is your final answer.